Hi, I'm here today with one of my bargain finds. Now, some of you will know I love my charity shops or thrift shops as they are called in some areas. And today I got this little girl. Some of you may know who she is. I wasn't sure until I actually went and got her today and did a little bit of research, but I thought she would look like the doll from The Great and Powerful Oz. As it turns out, she is. Now, bargain price, two pound. How could I not buy her? A little bit of TLC, got a little bit of a scratch to the eye, so we need a little bit there. Maybe the lips want touching up a little bit. She should actually have some little swirls here. They're missing, but she's clearly just been played with. And also her feet, as you can see, a little bit of scuffing. Nothing big deal. I did try using a Sharpie, perhaps I shouldn't, to have covered up this one. Now it, it looks okay, mm, sort of from a distance, but I can actually see where the pen marks are, so I might have to think about that. It's not something I've done before, so I really do need to do some serious research, or if any of you out there have got some advice. Now, she is the China girl from the film, because as you can see, we have all these little marks as if she's made of china. Apparently, since I've been doing a bit of research, there was one that was made of china, but of course she wasn't that cheap at the time. She was just a limited edition. This one was the one that Disney brought out. Can't seem to get hold of her anywhere now. There is a little tiny one as well, a little action figure one, which I wouldn't mind getting. But again, I've had a quick look, can't seem to find anything like that. I so she's in great condition generally. Open another look down back of her legs. She's a ball jointed doll. Not in the traditional sense, I know, but she's made to look like a ball jointed doll, shall we say. So she does have quite a bit of articulation. She moves quite well. She has come without a dress. That's a shame, but again, for two pound, I can't expect anything more. So I am gonna have to make her some form of clothing for that. Can't seem to get hold of them, as I've already said. I've had a quick look, seem to be able to get them in America. And to be honest, they're only about £20, but then you're paying that same amount in shipping again. So if you really want one, they're not that expensive, really. But I think I definitely got a bargain for £2. Absolutely love pottering around. I think the man in the shop thought I was a little bit mad because I got really excited when I went in and I made sure I got there at half past eight this morning because I'd seen her last night when I was just walking home and I was determined to get there before anybody else spotted her and realised what she hit, what she actually was. So I'm quite pleased with that find and perhaps we'll have to wait and see what other little bargains I get and I might show them on. Great places to look for dolls, accessories. So hope to see you again. Thank you.